Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to everybody. So, um, you know, thanks for being a friend, fan. If you're watching this, more likely you are. Um, thanks for supporting my music, first of all, first and foremost. Thanks to the whole YouTube community for, you know, putting videos out there that help people how to do stuff. I learn a lot of stuff from YouTube. I learn enough things from YouTube, trust me. So, you can't just take, take, take and not give back. Time to give back right now. So, right now, I'm going to show some people how to do this CD thing. When, whenever you, you know, we're in the new age right now where, you know, the real CD, them, them thing, them thing, them thing are out of, out of fashion and style right now. So, most of the care them where you have, uh, you have to plug in a little mp3 wire or something to something in your car to play some some cars nowadays come with a usb port where you can just you know get all the songs on that and plug it in so i'm gonna get y'all guys up to the time for a little bit just be, you know just in case you want to cut it off on a cd but um uh, i mean obviously once you get the download links for cds or mixtapes or stuff like that you, you can um you know either put it on your phone i'll probably show you how to put it on phone or so so Let's go here. First of all, what I did was I did something where I emailed a link to myself. So more likely, when somebody sends you a CD link, you're going to, you know, so this is like me email it to myself. So uh, more likely, you will get the link where you can just click on it. But, you know, I'll show you the, 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 the worst case scenario. So what you do is, you know, you, you go over that or you can double click it, double click it. So you see it all blew up, copy, right? And you put it back, put it in a, in a, in a, in a fresh, um, fresh tab. Okay, so boom press enter more likely this is what your, 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 your CD link will look like when you click the link okay but if you don't click if you don't have a link you just do like I did just now download you hit download and look right down here see what I see right right there start downloading right there feel me tells you how much seconds you have left all that good stuff um, for PC users you have to know where this thing is going in most cases like this little um, thing right here I believe on a PC you probably have you probably ask you while you download it where you want to down, download it but for me mine's is set up where it goes straight to my download folder so you can either if you have a Mac you just go show in folder right here right and then the, the folder will automatically come up like you see it does right here if you don't go that route all you have to do is just click on any one of your your folders and then just hit uh, downloads and boom bang bang it's right there no problem you feel me so what you do now is what you do is go in go into your itunes right there you go itunes i'll bring up itunes um as you can see me have enough download of the download and you know i kind of really want to vibes cartel you see it and all kind of things so all the things so boom say here now you see how oh, I, I have one was it for iphone so if you have iphones you know the mac sync with it so once you plug it in or whatever it, it's gonna be easy easy busy treasy so what you normally do is like you i i i, I do new playlist and i put say dj geo cd all right say so make it empty dj geo cd you make sure you click on it you have whole heap of things like that. You yeah, click on the one where you just create. So it's empty. You feel me? You go to your downloads folder right here. You grab it. You drag it over. Sorry, hold on. You drag it in, in, in there. And lo and behold, it's there. Right now, if you, if, you, if you play it, it can play. I don't think I set up this whole stream to use my um, iTunes, which I should have. But once you play it, then, you know, you're going to hear the CD. From here... So long, I'm gonna make a CD. From here, um, what you can do is boom. Oh, you do this thing again, man. I'm supposed to teach you. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, from here, what you do is you boom. You go to file. Sorry. Edit. Song. Yeah. Uh, damn. Burn. Burn. Sorry. <laughs> having brain fart there for a second you go to file burn playlist to disk so you go boom burn playlist to disk now you leave everything basically all the settings you know audio cd uh, this doesn't really matter this this only matters if you're doing a multiple thing um you can put i'll i'll just, I'll just leave it at audio cd you feel me because it's an audio cd it only can fit like a certain amount if you go into mp3 status it's like some different stuff um where you can do multiple files or whatever but do not hit, hit none of these 
just keep it on audio CD. Make sure you insert your CD in your CD burning thing. Make sure it's a clean CD and then you hit burn. That's it. Now, only difference is with, 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 with this now, right, is um, this is a one track CD where, yes, it's a CD that's over an hour, hour 13 minutes. However, it will just play one. So there is no rewinding of this track, okay? No rewinding. Once I press play, I hit that. If you want to rewind a track, you have to press rewind, rewind and hold the rewind button and you see it skip back or whatever. Go back to the track, unfortunately. However, you see like no, I have certain CDs now where like, so I'm going to go back in a file share and you see how the same one that I, I download, this one has no zip, right? But this one has a zip. This is um multiple files. So let's just do that for the hell of it. Prepare and download. Let's download it. I, I'll show you both ways what can happen if somebody send you. If you want a CD that's tracked out where, you, you know, one song bother. You want to go back to that one song that you just press pull up. And go back to it. You see me? Process is a little different. I could delete that one there. Delete and remove that one song there. But the same process as in, you know, you create, you create a, um, a folder to say, okay, this is the CD that I want to burn. Right? Then, the... Good on that. So see it and all, see me? So you double click it in most and it will extract. You extract, extract, and you see a whole folder come now. You see that? Instead of you downloading the first time and just see one wave, one um, MP3 file, which is an hour long, now you get a folder. So what you can do is when you when you like a bomb, you can you double click the folder and open it and look. Lo and behold, the CD has 39 tracks. You understand? So you like some bomb grab all of them so i mean what, what you might do is when i click the, the first one on a mac you hold shift and i go down to the last one and, and grab it i hit it right let it go and you can drag the whole thing in here feel me oh um itunes will take it like a little time if you you know get everything in there process everything and everything that you see processing right there so here we go uh, normally it takes a little while but it looks like it's moving a little faster but it's all good. We have time. You see me? Pepper Wednesdays, each and every Wednesday, 7 to 9 p.m. You don't know your boy DJ G or Guardian. So, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so, so you see that now? All right, boom. Uh, lo and behold, now you have a thing where you have tracks, 39 tracks, and they're going to be in order because uh, I, I label them one through um, 39, and most people will do the same. You feel me? So, you're good, that's up. So wait, once you get here, you go, you go to the same kind of thing again now. File, burn, playlist to disk. So this is the part that you have to make sure now. You know, say, you, you, you have to listen to the part keenly. You leave everything just the same like the last one. Remember, I tell you, so the two-second thing never apply. Now, now, now it makes sense because these songs are mixed and they're mixed flawlessly. But it just mixed to a point where it's if you want to go back to the first part of the, the one song that you like and you want to rewind it, you hit the rewind button and it goes. But if you leave this two second thing on, it's going to have a two second gap between every song. And that is very annoying, my friend. So you want to put none. You see me? And the CD will just flow like a regular CD. But it will also give you the option of going back one track or two track, three track. You feel me? You hit putting a clear CD nice and, and, and thing and you burn it you're good to go feel me so cancel that now once you plug in your phone if you have an iPhone you plug in your phone it's gonna bring something up here I believe that, that, that that's gonna show your iPhone I believe it's probably gonna come somewhere here too all you have to do my friends is you see whatever CD or whatever track them you, you have so you say you like track one true yes sir you grab it and you drop it right on your phone. How simple is that? And you see, once you grab it and you drop it on your phone, it dip on your phone, it's done. Argument done. You feel me? So if this was helpful to any one of you guys, you don't know, we're going to be doing a lot of, a lot more tutorials for you guys on, 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 on a regular. Your boy DJ, J Guardian, so now we'll, we'll, we'll keep on playing music and all this stuff. So until next time, boom, I'm out. Okay? Later.